Good morning, dreamers. I hope you had a wonderful sleep. Something interesting happened yesterday. My kids and I were taking care of a couple of kids that dad was working, mom was working, and they needed somebody to help them care for their kids. And so we had them over for dinner and games and movies, and it was a really great way to spend a Monday night. Um, but something really interesting happened. Because we had extra people for dinner, it wasn't just the three of us around the table, there were five of us, I had to move my pile of books. And on Sunday night, when I was on a Zoom with some of my friends, and I kept picking up books to show them, they're like, how many books do you have there? And I'm like, oh, I don't know. And I said, I have eight, I counted eight, two of them are like that thick. And I had cleaned up earlier that day. So I'd already put three away. I had eight books sitting right here, ranging from poetry to the actual scripture to um, a seminary book to um, theology of LGBTQ things. Um, and yeah, I just, I had eight books. And I put them away, and when I came out today, it was like, yeah. Sometimes the books need to be put away. Sometimes the input from others needs to just be put away. Sometimes you need to just sit down and breathe. That's how you dream. That's really funny. This, um, this is really funny. I just find the cereal box funny. I don't know why, but I do. Um, yeah, but sometimes it's important to just put things down. Just be. I keep talking to you about knowing who you are, connecting with your creator, letting your spirit connect with the spirit, and just be. And I don't always do it myself. And although those books are important and they need to come back and they need to be looked at this evening, it's been a good morning to just not have the call, the call of books, the call of words, the call of you need to learn this and you need to know what you mean with this and you need, you need, you need, you need. That's what books uh, nonfiction often say to me is you need to have an answer because people are going to ask you why you have changed this theology or why you've changed your ideas on this. You need to know what you're talking about because you need to be able to argue it. I don't need to argue. I don't owe anybody an explanation except for my creator himself. He's planted me here in this journey. Therefore, I live in this journey for him and only him. And there's peace in that. There's peace in the questions. There's peace in the not knowing. There's peace in the not research. I'm not saying forever, but one morning, it's good to take a break. Are you in the need of a break of something? Break for something? I don't know. Mental health break? Mental health rates were all over the news when I woke up. And I was like, oh, that's not what I want. We know that they're there, but hearing the numbers is really tough. And yeah, so is it mental health? Is it that you need a new project at work and you need to look at something else and ask a supervisor, can I just look at something else for a moment? <laughs> um, I think that's part of the problem with young people today is that all day long, it's the same subject, same subject, and they can't look at something else. And that's really, really tough on them. So where's the break that you need? Maybe the break is from sitting with emptiness beside you and you need to go get a book. 
I don't know what it looks like for you. I just share a little bit about what I realized in the morning. Nothing super spiritual because I haven't looked at the books. <laughs> and then if it helps you, great. And if not, don't worry about it. Feel free to give me your suggestions right back because I would love to hear from you. Um, don't forget, though, by this Saturday, if you are following me on my Marilyn Nugent YouTube, you need to go over to the Good Morning Dreamers YouTube. There's still a picture of me. It's a different picture. I'm in a, like a teal shirt in that one. And go over there to follow me because I won't be using my work YouTube anymore for this. Okay, so just don't forget about that. Um, yeah, and we'll talk with you later. Enjoy taking a break on this wonderful Tuesday. Getting done what you need to get done, not what's hollering at you. Sweet dreams. <laughs>